I'd settle for upset. This is fire. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you shouldn't have eaten that extra enchilada and all those chili peppers. I wasn't the only one. Did you see that stampede to the restroom? <laughs> they ought to install speed bumps. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. oh, Ted, look. Someone broke in. Okay, you two stay right here while I check it out. Is everything all right? Well, come and see for yourself. Somebody's been in our home. Somebody's been in our drawers. Somebody's been in our pie. And it wasn't the oh, no, They took our good silver. They even took our bad silver. All right, you two stay right here while I look in the living room. Oh, great. Well, you can come on in, but you're not going to like it. Oh, look at this mess. This is one mess you can't pin on me. They obviously left through the front door. Well, I better close it. Joan, don't touch the door. He might have left fingerprints. From the looks of it, that's all he left. <laughs> well, thank heavens we were all out when it happened. Yeah. What's up, Vicky? Vicky! Vicky! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Vicky, are you all right? My circuits are functioning normally. Good. I guess we should call the police. Right. Police! <laughs> It's cold in here. I'd sure like to shut that door. Mom, why would anyone want to steal a picture of fat old Aunt Frida? <laughs> because fat old Aunt Frida was in a fat old silver frame. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That rotten crook stole my new Jack Nicholas putter. Uh -huh. <laughs> Honey, it was only 
only a golf club. Joan, Pebble Beach is only a golf club. I had a lot of emotional attachment to that putter. Ted, that's childish. Nuh-uh, no, sir. I want my putter, I want my putter, I want my putter. Mom, I think it's time you changed his pampers. Evening, I'm Officer Doyle. Oh, hi, I'm glad you're here. I'm Ted Lawson. Now, this is my wife, son, and daughter. Please come in. Don't touch the door. Why not? Well, he made us keep it open. Why would you do that? It's freezing outside. <laughs> what about fingerprints? Huh? Well, we don't check for fingerprints in every routine burglary, son. If there's a corpse involved, that's different. Mm. Give us a few minutes. Somebody's bound to freeze to death. <laughs> Angela Lansbury says to always keep the door open. Oh. <laughs> uh, did you make a list of the missing items, ma'am? Oh, yes, right here. Tom Selleck says to always make a list. That's fine. Yeah, this will help. Let's see, a TV set, uh, silverware, jewelry. Oh, no. A Jack Nicholas putter? <laughs> see. He also took that old Aunt Frida. Her <laughs> photograph. Uh, he couldn't lift Aunt Frida. <laughs> Do you think we'll ever get our stuff back, officer? Well, it depends. Do you have a record of any of the uh, serial numbers or markings on the stolen property? Uh, no. Well, did you uh, save any purchase receipts for any of the items? No. Hmm. Well, no offense, folks, but you're a burglar's dream come true. <laughs> did you, by any chance, contact your neighbor to see if they might have seen him? I saw him. You did, Vicky? You mean that uh, she wasn't out with the family? Ah, uh, no, uh, Vicky doesn't like Mexican food. Uh, she's more of a nuts and bolts eater. <laughs> yeah, it's just the staples. The burglar ran out when he saw me. So she barely got a glimpse of him. <laughs> I barely got a glimpse of him. Well, a uh, glimpse isn't much, but it's all we have to go on. So uh, I'll tell you what, young lady. Why don't you just uh, try and tell Officer Doyle what you saw, huh? He was five feet, eight and a half inches tall, 153 pounds, light brown hair, blue eyes, a mustache, coveralls with L and W Fleming on the back, and he had two quarters and a nickel jangling in his left pocket. That's a glimpse? I couldn't describe my wife that well. Except for the mustache. Well, Vicky's a very observant child, and uh, Jamie, why don't you take Vicky to your room? Right. Let's go, Sherlock. <laughs> well, I'm sure the uh, plumbing coveralls are a phony, but we'll do our best. Uh, how did the burglar get in? Oh, it's uh, right through the kitchen. It's uh, this way. <coughs> right through that door. Oh, no wonder. No deadbolt lock. <laughs> Very simple. All he had to do was break the glass, turn the knob, easy as pie. He took some of that, too. <laughs> I guess we really are a burglar's dream come true. They sure make you feel helpless. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, there aren't enough police to go around, but there is one thing you folks can do to help protect yourselves. What's that? You can set up a neighborhood watch program. It always helps to have your neighbors keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Well, does a neighborhood watch work? Uh, very well. Except in New York City. There, when there's a burglary, the neighborhood just watches. <laughs> I can have one of the uh, other officers help you set this up, if you'd like. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's a terrible feeling to walk in and discover that somebody's been in your home. Yeah, I know the feeling. My home has been hit twice, and I have a watchdog to scare them away. <laughs> and a wife with a mustache. <laughs> So the important thing to remember is to make it hard for the intruder. Post a neighborhood watch sign, like this one, so he knows you're wise to his activities. And when you're out for the evening, have your lights on an automatic timer. And make sure your neighbors pick up your newspaper if you're out of town. My neighbor does that when I'm home. <laughs> I always put them back after I read them. But first, he cuts out the coupons. <laughs> Another important thing. 
Don't ever leave your house key under the mat. Oh, that's obvious. It's the first place they look. Right. And the second place they look is the flower pot next to the front door. <laughs> Gotta move that key. All right. We've discussed the many ways that Neighborhood Watch works to prevent crime, so uh, let's put what we've learned to the test. You must think we're stupid. Not all of us. <laughs> Now, let's suppose it's a typical weekday afternoon, and uh, you, Mrs. Lawson, see an unfamiliar vehicle parked in the neighborhood. What do you do? Well, I write down the license number, and then I call the neighborhood watch patrol and have them keep an eye on the car. Very good. Now, let's say it's a Saturday night, and uh, you, Mr. Lawson, happen to glance out your window, and you spot a stranger, let's say him, sneaking around your neighbor's house. Well, that'd be unlikely, because he's usually sneaking around our house. I do not sneak around. Pussyfoot. That's better. Well, if it really were a burglar, I'd alert my neighbor, call the police, and have this guy taken in. Ah, you never make a stick. I got a perfect alibi. Every Saturday night, I'm at my lodge meeting. You've heard of the moose and the elks? We're sort of their cousins. The caribou? <laughs> now, if I was home, and somebody was crazy enough to invade my castle. Old King Brandon wouldn't need any help from any neighborhood watch. <laughs> I got something better. Pow! A smoking finger? <laughs> I hope you have a permit for that handgun, Mr. Brindle. We well, bet. Huh. Man's got to do something to protect his home. The criminals are winning. We're losing. <laughs> there are a lot of criminals behind bars that would disagree with you, Mr. Brindle. Well, folks, that's about it. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lawson have agreed to organize everything. So good luck, and I wish you a very safe neighborhood watch. Thank you. Well, I've got some information forms for everyone to fill out. Well, thank you very much, Officer Egan. Oh, my pleasure. And you're helping us, too. You sure you wouldn't like to stay for some uh, cake and coffee? <laughs> no, thanks. I like to watch my figure. How about everybody does? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, could I have one of those neighborhood wash forms? You? Yeah. Uh, sure. Thanks. <laughs> I take it you're not going to join us. No, neighborhood watch is a waste of time. Well, remember that story about the three little pigs? You're liable to be sorry. Not this little pig. <laughs> Hammer. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> Little round. Later. Mom, Dad, can you come into the living room for a minute? I got something to show you. Oh, what's that, Jamie? Well, while you're on the neighborhood watch, I'm doing my part, too. Meet our new home alarm system, the Vicatron 200SX. <laughs> I'm programmed to serve and protect. <laughs> this I gotta see. I'll show you. Go outside, Dad, and pretend you're a cat burglar coming in through the window. <laughs> What's she gonna do, Jamie? You'll see, Mom. Ready, cat burglar? Ready, here I go. <laughs> Some burglar. <laughs> Look, a suspicious character is breaking into our happy home. This is a job for Miami Vicky. Intruder, intruder, intruder. <laughs> that is really great, Jamie. Halt and identify yourself. I mean, I'm really impressed. I repeat, halt. Yeah, yeah, that, that's enough, Vicky. Three <laughs> slime ball. <laughs> Works great, huh, Dad? Ted, are you all right? Well, say something. Cut her plastic fingernails. 
<laughs> Woo! Anybody home? It's your neighbors, the loved ones. Hi. Hi. You're looking good. Got the new lock, huh? Keeping out the low life? So far, it's not working. <laughs> I know I'm going to hate myself for asking, but what can we do for you, Brandon? I need a favor. Well, why should today be different? <laughs> What's the favor? Well, see, my wife is bowling tonight with her league team, the Gutter Gals. Gutter Gals? Uh, didn't I see them on Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous? <laughs> and I have a lodge meeting tonight with my fellow caribous, and Harriet's sitter just got sick, so now I don't know what to do with her. Have you tried chicken soup? <laughs> she means she doesn't know what to do with me. But I love chicken soup. It's so healthy. Except for the chicken, of course. <laughs> So I was wondering, would it be okay if Harriet stayed here until after the meeting? Oh, sure, Brandon. Bring her over after dinner. What are you having for dinner? Pizza. Why doesn't he bring me over during dinner? I don't eat much. I don't have enough teeth. <laughs> okay, Harriet, you can come for dinner. Oh, I wouldn't want to intrude. <laughs> but I will. Thanks. Thanks, guys. I knew I could count on you. I have to go to the hospital before the meeting to visit a fellow caribou. He had an accident. Was he hurt badly? Badly enough, so we had to strap him to the fender and take him to emergency. Booga booga! Booga booga! You know, honey, we need a new kind of lock. This one's for people. We need one that'll keep out caribou. <laughs> the garage door is locked and secure. Good. Hi! What you doing? Going over this neighborhood watch brochure. What's a neighborhood watch? It's where people from the neighborhood watch each other's homes and report what they see. What's the big deal? I've been making those reports to my mother for years. <laughs> Peter, man. Hi. Hi. Intruder, intruder, halt and identify yourself. Oh, that's cute. Which one are you, Cagney or Lacey? <laughs> I repeat, halt. Vicky! I'd really like to play with you, sweetie, but I've got work to do. <laughs> Green slime ball. You're not Cadney or Lacey. You're Hulk Hogan. Uh, sorry about that, mister, but she takes vitamins. Industrial strength. You can read the meter now. Forget it, kid. This one's on me. <laughs> What are you up to? Oh, hi. Well, remember when Officer Egan suggested we put our lights on a timer? Right. Well, I decided to put the whole house on a timer, you see? <laughs> that way, even if we're not home, it'll look like we're home. Well, that sounds great. Well, of course. It's one of the perks of marrying a genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, genius, show me how it works. Okay. Thomas Edison, eat your heart out. <laughs> Clever dear, Edison invented light, and you invented dark. Yeah, well, well, you see, it's not, uh, it's not perfected yet. <clears throat> oh, I get it. Thank you. Ooga booga, ooga booga. Ooga booga to you too. Uh, notice anything different about me? No. What's this? Oh, you're parting your hair different. Oh, come on. We had an election down at the lodge tonight, and you are now in the presence of the supreme imperial caribou. Congratulations. <laughs> Do we kiss your antlers? <laughs> what in the world? Oh, no. Honey, did, did Vicky get out? I hope nothing happened down at the bowling alley. The gutter gals can get pretty ugly when they lose. Dad, there's that Officer Doyle guy. Yeah, oh. Officer Doyle. You got a minute? Hi. Hi. What's going on? Well, it's okay. Nothing to worry about. We just caught a burglar breaking in next door. Ooh, the Hendersons? Well, they must have been petrified. Not that next door. That next door. Ah, oh, the Brindles. <laughs> the Brindles! That's me! I'm a burglar! Somebody call the police! Police! <laughs> 
Uh, relax, Mr. Brendel. He didn't get a chance to take anything. He didn't? No. Too bad, Daddy. You won't be able to stick it to the insurance company. <laughs> Sweetheart. Let's go watch him give the guy the third degree. Yeah. Right. You see? They caught him. With policemen like Officer Doyle around, you don't need your stupid neighborhood watch. Wrong, Mr. Brendel. The neighborhood watch saw him climbing into your window and called us. So you want to change your mind about joining us, Bullwinkle? Forget it. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I think this is yours. We got it off the burglar. I hid that in my most secret place, the meat bin of my refrigerator. <laughs> It's only a secret if the burglar's a vegetarian. <laughs> Boy, I'd hate to lose that. Isn't she a beauty? Oh! <laughs> it's all right, folks. Relax. There are no bullets in the gun. I took them out. <laughs> Mr. Brendel, if you insist on owning a gun, you better learn how to handle it. Always point the barrel up. Point the barrel up. <clears throat> <laughs> She's a small wonder, brings love. 